So in this next video, um, we're back in the wiki, uh, and I would like to talk about the MySQL paper. So uh, I will probably not explain what MySQL is. If you're not sure, then uh, just look it up, because that really is um, something beyond what I want to talk about here. Uh, MySQL is basically a database uh, system, um, and uh, it uses, and in that database, you can have several tables. And in each table, you can have different things. And um, the main table for the template is called All Data, and uh, it's created automatically when you hit that test connection. Uh, if you remember, in the main setup, we had a test connection button. If your connection is successful, which you should, which it should be, otherwise it's not going to work, then it will that script will automatically create this All Data table in that database that you specified. So you don't really have to worry about this All Data table because it's if you've already gone through the setup and you received that message saying that you're successfully connected, you will have this table there. Uh, just in case you want to see what that table looks like, there is a documentation which shows you the field in that table. And um, so it, it says temperature, maximum, minimum, humidity, pressure, wind speed, wind gust, cumulative daily precipitation, rain rate, dew point apparent temperature, wind bearing and decrease, and solar radiation, which if you disable your solar sensor, this will just be ignored, it will just be nil for all the values. So, just in case, this, this was actually for the previous version, so just in case that table was not created, you use this table create script, but um, I think you, you don't have to worry about that, because that, that was for the older versions, and in version 10, I think, I already implemented that in the test connection, so you don't have to create this. And just in case, any time in the future you want to see the actual table, you want to see the values, you can do that from the template. But if you want to make some bulk operations, you can use the PHP MyAdmin. It's a, it's a, it's basically a, well, how would I say it's a, it's a script. It's a, it's a, it's a service to that is usually available. Uh, from your web hosting provider, and it allows up, uh, it allows um, working with the database. But it's definitely not something that you need to use Media Template. It's for the advanced users, and I would also not recommend do doing anything there unless you know exactly what you're doing, and you should have a good knowledge of SQL language to actually use this. Because otherwise, you can what can happen is you can basically delete your your, your all your data within milliseconds. So really be careful when using the PHP MyAdmin if using it at all, and uh, make sure you know what you're doing. So that's the MySQL table. Um, as I said, the table is created automatically, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, it's just that you should you should basically just know that there is a table somewhere on your server that has this saved, and it's not something that you will see in your FTP client. It's it's on a, on a separate part of the server, so um, you will not see it there. It's just and some plugins, some plugins actually create new tables in that database. It's one single database, but it has several tables. So, for example, the Snow plugin will create a new table, new MySQL table, uh, in which it will save the snow data. Uh, and there are a few other. Uh, so this all data one is basically for your station values.